Hi, everyone, welcome to Style 3D Atelier channel. In this video, you will learn making multi pocket cargo pants, so let's get started. First, open the man pants in the resource library. Select all patterns and move them to a suitable position to simulate. To better view the pants, hide the avatar using the shortcut Shift plus A. Now, adjust the pattern of the pants. Start by adjusting the inner side of the pants. Use the Edit Curve Point tool to delete all these curve points. Straighten this line. After simulation, it still has a stacked part. Check if it's due to sewing lines. For cases like this, re-sew the lines. Adjust uneven line lengths. Using the Change Length tool. Also adjust the outer side. Use the Add Point tool, shortcut X. Process is similar to the previous steps. Use the Edit Pattern tool, shortcut Z. Widen the leg opening. Show the avatar. Select the lines at the leg opening, move them up to create a gathered cuff. Use the rectangle tool to create a pattern for the gathered cuff. Use the segment sewing shortcut N to sew the two edges. Place this pattern at the ankle. Reduce the particle distance a bit to make the fabric softer. Use the symmetry pattern with seam, shortcut, control, plus D. Now let's start making the pockets. Begin by creating an internal rectangle. Then, use the Trace tool. Select all the line to trace as pattern. Measure the length of the pocket. Create a pocket edge strip of the same length. Use the Arrange Points tool to move the pattern. Then, sew it together. Next, superimpose, over. Reduce the particle distance and extra collision thickness. Reducing the extra collision thickness can help prevent collisions between patterns. Use the pen tool, shortcut D. Draw a center line. This line is for pocket shape. Adjust the folding angle. Angles greater than 180 fold inward, angles less than 180 fold outward. So, a small section of the side strip. Change the sewing type to turn to improve stability during simulation between adjacent patterns.
If there is still penetration, freeze the pattern first, then manually adjust the side strip. Adjust the pocket effect. Now let's start making the pocket flap. Use at equidistant internal line to determine the pocket flap's position. Create a pattern of the same length. Add a midpoint using the shortcut X. Pull it down by 2.5. The pocket flap piece is finished. Select the pocket piece. Use the symmetry pattern with seam. Turn on solidify. This helps prevent deformation during simulation. Next, let's create another pocket on the side. Use points to determine the general location. Generate internal lines on both sides. Then, use the pen tool to connect them. Select these disconnected points and use the Merge Overlapping Points tool. Use the Rectangle tool to create the pocket piece. The remaining steps are similar to the previous pocket, so let's quickly proceed. Select all patterns and apply a fabric. Remove extra materials. Click on the fabric to enter the fabric editor. Under physical property, there are various presets. For the work pants we're making, you can try knit. Open the fabric thickness here, shortcut Alt plus 1. Fabrics like scuba thick and French terry twill and French terry are commonly used. All right. That's the end of our lesson. That's it guys, and I hope some of the tips will help your modeling work. If you like what we do, please liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in next video. Goodbye.